Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. And I know you're thinking, why is everything empty? That's because I already did this haul. I'm trying to do this video a little bit differently than I normally do my hauls. Every time I do a what I got at Sephora during the VIB sale haul, it's always just me showing you what I got and kind of talking about everything. But in today's video, I thought I would try everything on my face as I'm hauling. So today's video is basically a full face of new makeup. New makeup that I purchased during the VIB sale, and actually some of these products I got like a week after the sale. So yeah, that was dumb. But some of these weren't available during the sale, I had to wait. So I just wanted to show you all the new products I recently purchased at Sephora, try them on my face, give you my first impression, see if I like them, and yeah. We wanna see how I got this look and all the things I recently bought at Sephora. Just, ow, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with my bare face. All I have is primer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I ordered some brushes from Sephora. And honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why, but I wanted this. This is a collaboration with that brand, Moschino. I don't know if that's how you say this brand. I'm not fancy enough to pronounce this correctly. But it's called the Pencil Brush Set. And it looks like friggin' pencil. You get two face brushes and three eye brushes. And I wanted to use this today for my foundation. Oh, it's a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. Look how cute. Guys, you cannot tell me that these aren't the cutest things ever. This angled brush is a little too chunky for me. This looks like a really nice crease brush. I don't know, this looked really cute and I wanted it, okay? I'm gonna apply some foundation with the number one brush. It's so crazy how this part like Feels like a legit pencil. That's wooden. That's wild. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation. Hmm. I'm usually extremely picky with my foundation brushes. Okay, so this is applying my foundation beautifully. I really like it. The only thing is that I feel it sucks up a lot of my foundation. My It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation Brush is my favorite foundation brush of all time, and I feel like I don't need to apply as much foundation when I use that brush. This one kind of does soak up some of the foundation. I mean, not that much, but it's just something I felt the need to mention. Okay, I'm gonna apply my concealer and my powder really quick. Okay, so I also picked up the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I am so excited about this. I am really into cream products these days, you guys know. This is what it looks like. I've only swatched it, but the color seems promising. It's not too cool, but it's also not warm, or not too warm, but we will see. This foundation is too dark for my face. It's like darker than my neck, so my foundation looks hella muddy around here. Awesome! Anyway, I'm gonna take the number two pencil. And, okay, do I just wanna like... I know she also created a brush to use with this, but I'm just gonna use the brush I have at home because I didn't wanna buy that brush. It didn't look like a brush I would ever use. So this is the color right here. I think I think I am just gonna... <laughs> and then I will... Oh my gosh. So this is so weird because I usually like stamp my cream bronzer, but this brush is like very flimsy. It's like hard to stamp. I'm just like rubbing it and it seems to be working. Wow, this formula is so blendable and creamy. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's very, very pigmented, but I feel like it's easy to blend. And I do feel like this color is the perfect <laughs> undertone because I don't like it when my contours are too ashy. So I feel like this is a nice color. I think I like that. I think I really like that. Okay, okay. Okay, so I also picked up two of the brand new nude sticks, Nudies All Over Face Dewy Colors. They come in four different shades, but I got Sweet Peach Peony and Tiger Lily Queen. Tiger Lily Queen is a more intense orangey coral. I have no idea how that looks on the cheeks, but that color is gorgeous. And then Sweet Peach Peony is a very natural, everyday nude color with a little bit of peach in there. It's also really stunning. I used this one on my cheeks yesterday and I loved it. I think I'm going in with a bold lip color. I'm pretty sure. So I 
I don't want to go with the coral one. I think I'm gonna go with the one I used yesterday. These are exactly what they're called. Like this is dewy. They have a very noticeable glow to the cheeks. And you can tell when you're swatching them or even when you're just looking at them, they're very, very emollient. If you have very dry skin, I feel like you would love this. Can't speak for those of you with oily skin, but if you have tried these and you're oily, let us know in the comments below because I'm very curious to know. I just love how dewy it makes my cheeks. And because this is a very dewy blush, I would highly recommend applying this to your cheeks before you apply powder to your face. I did apply some powder right here on my eye area to set. I avoided it on my cheeks. This is perfect for like a tropical vacation. Like when you're doing the bare minimum with your makeup, a little bit of brow gel, some mascara, some SPF, and then a little bit of this blush. Beautiful. And you can see, like it just gives your skin this glossy finish. I love it. For highlight, we have another cream product. I am creamy, creamy these days. Ew. I had to get these too. It, uh, this is again from Moschino and Sephora and this is their highlighter cheek set. How cute that they look like actual highlighters. Adorable. Oh my god. You get three different highlighters in three different colors. I'm swatching them now on the back of my hand and this one, although very pretty, it has sparkle. Oh my gosh, this blue one is really cool. Interesting. Oh, and then this is a pink one of coats. Um, this one's okay. I feel like I have several pink highlights in my collection that have a more intense flip. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I am going to use the gold one. really picky when it comes to a cream highlight and even though I'm looking at the viewfinder I'm like wow you look so glossy I love it but I think this nude sticks blush plays a huge role in that I personally have other cream highlights in my collection I like more than this do I think it's super cute yes if you like this packaging I say go for it do I think it's the most amazing cream highlight ever no let's move on to this I always get super excited when Fenty Beauty launches new products and even though I don't wear eyeliner, like I rarely ever wear eyeliner, I bought all three of these and I have read some mixed reviews on them so I'm a little bit nervous but still also very excited. Okay, so these are the colors. Um, I don't exactly know which color I want to use because I'm just going to do a winged liner. A winged liner with like two little lines here. I don't know how many of you guys follow Katie Jane Hughes. She always does like these fun graphic liner looks. Like right here she's wearing a green liner and then on the inner corners she has like these little green lines. And then this one, she has red eyeliner with the little red lines on the outer corners. So freaking stunning. I love it. It's like simple but stunning. And I know it looks like it would be easy but... I suck with liner. I suck. Oh my gosh, I don't know what color to do. What color do I do? What color matches my shirt? I bought four of the new Fenty Beauty Poutsicle Juicy Satin Lipsticks. So I'm trying to think what would match because these are all very intense. Okay, I'm going with this color. I'm going with this color. I wish you guys were here to tell me what color because you're probably screaming a color at me right now, but I can't hear you. Okay, I need full concentration in this part. So give me a second. I will say that this is a little, at least this color, it is a little bit sheer, but the more you apply, the more it starts to build up, and then eventually I feel like it does get so pigmented. The only thing I notice is that when it does dry, it dries pretty fast, and when it does dry, it gets a little bit crumbly, so I'm concerned about how it's gonna wear throughout the day, but as of right now, I don't hate it. I need to play with all the colors, and then I will update you guys, so we'll see. Oh, I forgot the little lines, darn it. I don't know why I think to myself, you know what's a good idea? Trying something for the first time on camera. I'm actually gonna ruin this a little bit more by adding some more lines. Honestly, 
I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it looks kind of cool and it's so fun to play around with makeup. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> Let's move on to mascara. I got a new mascara. I actually have several new mascaras to try out, but this is actually one that I purchased at Sephora. This is from the brand Grande Cosmetics and it is their Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I use castor oil on my lashes every single night. Mm, ooh. That's the kind of brush I like. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Okay, so I do think that my lashes look pretty. I think they look thick. This is a very volumizing mascara. However, it does dry insanely fast. Like immediately when I was doing the first coat, I was like, whoa, this is a very, very dry mascara. And usually I prefer a dry mascara, but I noticed that this was exceptionally dry. So I'm a little bit concerned with that. I hope that doesn't mean that this is gonna like dry out within a month because it already is so dry. I'll keep you guys posted on that, but I do like how my lashes look. I just felt like it was really hard to do a second coat. I was noticing some clumping at the tip of my lashes. I have a few lip products I wanna share with you guys. I got the two new Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Lippies. This is the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick and this is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in the shade Hint Hint. So I actually tried the lip scrub last night for the first time. It comes like in this little stick and then it has the little exfoliators in the actual lip balm. I don't know if it was because I had just, oh my God, this smells so good. This smells like old school, like my childhood. I'm sorry, it does. I don't know if it's because there was like a thicker layer of lip balm on top, but last night when I used it, there wasn't a lot of scrubbies. I didn't really feel like it scrubbed my lip. Now that I'm using it again, it is more intense. I personally love a good scrub and a stick. <laughs> Yeah, and I continue to use this. I keep my lipstick queen one in my purse, so this one I can keep it in my bathroom. The Luscious Lip Balm I also used last night and I really, really liked it. And it's a very, very soft pink color, but it's completely clear when you apply it to the lips. But the lip balm itself is so moisturizing, but very lightweight at the same time. I really like the feeling of it. Also very nourishing and I really, really like this so far. I also picked up the Hourglass Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss and I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, so I only got one, but I feel like I should have gotten a different color. This is in the shade Halo and it's just a clear with a ton of gold shimmer. It says it has hyaluronic acid in it, shea butter, avocado oil, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna test it out right now with you guys. Ooh, I like the, the little applicator. I actually really see the gold sparkle in this. Ooh, I like the scent. It's minty. It smells like toothpaste, <laughs> like literally. Oh my God, this is my Crest toothpaste. I feel it. I feel like a slight tingly, like super slight. It reminds me a lot of the Buxom lip glosses. And I like how it feels like on the lips. Mm. <gasps> this mascara is making me flake. Okay, I think I really like this. Of course, I have to like fully test it. Why am I doing this with toilet paper? And then the last lip products I got are from Nude Sticks. These are the new lip glazes. And I got mine in the shade Nude 06 and Nude Cherry. And this is supposed to be a moisturizing lip oil. And it has natural butters like Shea, Avocado, Murmura. Ooh, we've seen those. That's the butter that's in the butter bronzers from Physicians Formula. Normal. Vitamin A, vitamin E. I'm into it. Let's see. Edgar Allan Poe, is that you? Ooh. You know what's weird? I hate mint chocolate chip, but every time a product smells like mint chocolate chip, I get so damn excited. Ooh. This is giving me the tingles. This is tingling. It's infused with volumizing peptides, clinically proven to support natural collagen. I'm, I'm all for it, I'm all for it. This formula feels really, really nice on my lips. It's so freaking shiny, but it doesn't feel thick or oily or sticky. Oh my gosh, I think I love this. I mean, I've only had it on for like mm, five seconds, but I'm excited for these, cause wow. But I'm actually gonna remove this lip color because I'm gonna go in with a Fenty Beauty lip color. I got Alpha Doll, which is a purple, obviously. Tropic Tantrum, so cool. I love that these colors are on the actual packaging. It just makes it so easy when you're looking through all your makeup. Uh, this one's my favorite, Sun Snatched, hello. <laughs> and then I got Hot Blooded, which is a really intense 
pinky red. They do have that creamy consistency that I assume is comfortable to wear. So what color? Guys, what color? Orange and blue, 2 HML. Um, red and blue, no, 2 4th of July. Um, purple and blue? That's purple. Oh, oh boy. Maybe not purple, maybe not purple. Holy crap, that is pigmented. Whoa. Let's try pink, let's try pink. Let's add a little bit of purple. Let's throw in some red. Never in a million years would I wear this lip with this eyeliner, but it's okay, we're testing formulas and stuff, and these lipsticks are very, very creamy. It's a little bold, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how often I would wear these too. I cannot pull these off. These, however, I feel like I will be wearing them a lot in the summer. These are more my thing. I picked up the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray, and homie, I used this for the first time yesterday, and I almost died. First of all, this is a very long-lasting matte setting spray. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I hate matte setting sprays. Anyway, I just wanted to get it because it said it was an extra hold setting spray and it wasn't in an aerosol can and it's super amazing. And I used it last night and I was choked. This smells so bad. Guys, this is so strong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now. Is my AC on again? <laughs> Do not leave your eyes open when you're doing this. <laughs> Dude, I how did they, why? Why, why is this so strong? And I know everyone tells me I'm super dramatic when it comes to scents, I think everything is strong, I'm so sensitive. Go smell that. Go to Sephora. <coughs> Tell me that is not the most strongest smelling setting spray you have ever used, ever. Oh my God, it's lingering, it's like real intense, but I feel like I have literal hairspray on my face. Like my face feels tight. I wanna like fully test this out. I wanna do no setting spray on this side, do this on this side and see if it really does give me an extra hold because that smell and this feeling is so intense that it needs to do that. It needs to. My camera's about to die. So I'm gonna charge it really quick and then I'll be back to end this video with the last two items. Okay, I'm back. I changed my lip color. I felt like that color did not look good on me. It was too bold, it was too bright. So I applied my RMS Beauty Daytime Nude Lip Liner and then I went over it with the Fenty Beauty Luscious Lip Balm and I really, really love this combo. So juicy, I love it. But as I was removing the Fenty Beauty lipstick, I noticed that it left like an intense stain on my lips, which is awesome, especially if you're wearing it all night, chances are it will fade nicely because it does leave a nice stain behind. So I was pleasantly surprised by that. But anyway, let's finally get to the end of this video. We've been here for a million years. This is the Beauty Blender Glass Glow Shine Lighter Crystal Clear Highlighter. And when I bought this online, it was an impulse buy. I don't know why I got it. It's literally just like gloss for your face. And I always love the idea of these types of highlights, but I can never get them to work for me. They're not super user friendly, but this could be nice on a no makeup makeup day. I don't know, we will see how I feel about that. Speaking of highlight, I was looking at my face in the mirror in the bathroom while my camera was charging and I I like my highlight but I think it's because it's blending in with like my dewy blush and I really, really like how they mesh together. But I also picked up the Bare Minerals Bronzer. This is the Endless Summer Bronzer and I've been using this for a few days now and I freaking love this bronzer. I've been using it for like about a week now. I have mine in the shade Faux Tan. They have another color. This one is a little bit more cool toned and the other one is a little bit more red. And when I used it for the first time, I was like blown away at how much this smelled like a self tanner. Like this smells like loving tan. <laughs> it has such a strong self tanner scent that I had to go look it up and it does have that in it. It has gradual glow complex that helps build a sun kissed glow over time. Now, I don't know how true that is. That kind of makes me feel weird, like the thought of it just getting deeper, like in my con, I, I don't know. But I was wearing this bronzer like all over my neck and chest and on my face the other day and I went to Gabby's house and my friend Melody and Gabby were both at her house and they both asked me if I had self tanned. They both said that I looked extra tan that day. They were like, yeah, did you tan? I was like, no, I didn't. Why? And they were like, you look so tan and it was 100% this freaking bronzer. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more of this. I 
anyway, this is the last product in this haul, and it's one of my favorite products in this haul. I've been using it for a few days, and I really, really like it. I feel like it makes me look nice and tan. But anyway guys, that completes this video. These were all the products I got during the VIB sale and some products I got after. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked this kind of haul or if you prefer me talking through the products as opposed to like you watching me put on the products. This was kind of like a first impression. Do you prefer this or do you want me to test out the products first and then give you a haul? Let me know. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Tiger Lily Queen is a more... Damn it. It's all the same like Mary Kate. <coughs> oh my god, I just choked on my own saliva. It has a gradual glow compact. It has gradual... Couple things. Porter. Porter. I'll just wait.